Did you crush the competition, Sino? Catbox, a communication issue at its finest. All right, we got hat guy. Oh, it is getting emotional. Mood. Stop, I'm crying now, I'm crying now. No. Friends and gamers, we're not doing chain of interests in Genshin Impact. We are doing culminate Chatter of Joyous Dreams and Caravan Robot. I finally freed Sino from his story quest. It's still ongoing, but I, free I, I did what I need to do to free him. So he's free. We're going to go do that. I've had quite a few team changes. If you watched the last Genshin video, I did a lot of character building, both for Kirara and for Wanderer, actually. Was not expecting to, but he's now at level 80. 19,000 HP. He's like a viable unit now. Like he's not that HP wise, he's not that far off from my Raiden. Or he actually has. Okay, I actually I saw the 18k on Kokobi and I was like, he's actually has more HP than my healer. Oh my god, no. Um, he Kokobi has 21k. Just so happens, Wander's at 19k, which is more than my Crow community currently is at. I know this isn't a good team, but I've actually been enjoying running this team. So we're gonna keep running them for now, just because I'm enjoying running it. <laughs> Gotta switch it up a little bit, you know? Uh, so we need to go to Caravan Robot. Hopefully we won't get quest locked anymore. We might. After I finish this, like hopefully this will be the last video for the TCG event. After that, I'm gonna do the horrible 3.7 Abyss. Obviously that Abyss is no longer running because there's only four days of this and this video is going up like three weeks from now, but I'm gonna run the horrible 3.7 Abyss in the next video because <laughs> I do want to try to get Miko still. So that is gonna happen. Um, I don't know how far I'll get, but uh, we'll see. So we have to do this right here. I have hiccups as well, which kind of sucks. So I'm gonna take a water break. Which way should we go now? Oh yeah, we're still looking for the card snatcher. That's right. We should be okay. We shouldn't get blocked out by anything just because it's been a while. Um, and once we start it, we probably be okay. Anyways. We just need to head a short way towards the I know we're looking for... Oh, we're in Caravan or Bot, not because it's the place for TCG, but because of everything else. Rotten. It's for the other stuff. Dihya or Candace? Is Dihya here? Because that'd be fun. Oh, Sino! It's Sino. That's why I, that was so blocked off before. Okay. Hi, Sino! Are you going to be more fun? Because the story quest team is not fun. At least the part I did. It's very broody. See, he seems nicer now. <laughs> not nicer, but he seems like more carefree. <laughs> She would. Oh, Paimon would. Yeah, honestly. I mean, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I like how Charlotte and Kirara are both just like, hey, yo, what? <laughs> That's so like, I like that they mention it because it's like, yeah, that is a thing. We know a lot of people because we are the only people that do anything. So we know everyone. Oh, we just assume. <laughs> The tournament okay, so it's already finished. it's already done here. Or is he just being like, it's finished. I've already won, even though I haven't done it yet. I am now the official king of invocations. <laughs> are you? I are you or are you just the like who wins? Because I don't know who wins. I've been trying to avoid that. Did you crush the competition, Sino? I used forbidden hand. Forbidden hand. <laughs> and drew there he goes. There he goes. <clears throat> oh, he's in Paris. In front of our new friends. Anyway, I have time. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, I have time. Don't worry about it. Paimon explains for some time. Uh, Paimon's Paimon. Fair enough. Hydration check. I got my water here. I can accompany you. As Paimon said, it's my duty okay. to uphold the rules and punish evil. Nice. Nice, nice. What do you think, Kirara? I am parched as well, though. Like, I need, like, a lip balm or something. That's how I feel right now. But remember, you all should hide while I'm delivering the parcel. Oh yeah. I know that this yeah, that's a thing. Suspicious, but they're still my customer until we have any concrete proof. Otherwise. Innocent until proven guilty, even if they are suspicious. That is my philosophy. Innocent until proven guilty. Anything you're saying. Because sometimes it's just like if you're in trouble. It just happens that someone looks not innocent, but like they probably are. Probably are. Not a problem. You can just watch my tail. <laughs> her tail. Oh. You mean both of them? <laughs> Wait, she's gonna give a signal with her tails. So what? It was like if she flaps one tail. Is that like yes? And two is like. Danger, danger, please help me. <laughs> of course, both of them. I'll come up with a way to have the customer confirm the contents of the She can do that? If they oh. Have just an ordinary customer, yeah. Have to the card back, Wait. Lower both of my tails. That actually that works. Can just stay hidden. Because, like, I feel like I've had to do that before, like, with specific packages. I feel like I've done that before for something where you have to confirm the, the delivery or something, right? 
Like, that's a thing that you could actually do. But if they turn out to be <laughs> this is what she says a dendro vision. She's very know. smart at this. Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> She do that. What is I know that has It'd to mean something. That we need to lay down the law. Sci oh, there he goes. He's making puns again. No way. I'm not getting on the ground. <laughs> I love that Kira was just like, does that take that? You think so? Yeah, actually. Then maybe you can use your tails to pound your back. I was just thinking like why would she do that? Tails. Simple. Just move one and then move two. Be signal that she had found two is good, yes is no. We're looking for. Found the backs. Sino again. <laughs> we're used to it. We're used to it, but like, we're just like. First time huh. someone has created with their words as I am. <laughs> Wait, Charlotte's like enthralled. Oh my god, that's so funny. Have you ever considered a career in writing news headlines, Sino? <laughs> oh my god, with the music playing here too. God. Don't enable him. <laughs> Don't enable okay. him. If we keep standing around talking like this, gosh. It's going to be late. Listen to me. I usually know what, like, the gist of each vision is, like, why someone has a specific vision. I don't know the gist of it for Cryo. Maybe I should Google that. We need a databank in Genshin. <laughs> I love that. I love this dynamic for whatever reason. It's just ridiculous. Hopefully we don't get blocked. And hopefully we don't get blocked. Are we good? Go to the delivery address. Okay, we're, we're solid, I think. We're good. We're good. We should be okay now. I think now that we started it, we won't get blocked by anything. But who knows? That could be a problem later on. What was I doing? I was gonna do something specific. Oh, I was gonna look up the whole, what is a cryovision supposed to stand for? Um, I don't think there's a way you can do that. Is there? Hold on, give me a second. My, this is gonna bother me now. Cause I feel like I know Dendro really well. I know Animo, but I don't know the other ones. And I think about it. I don't even think, I don't know if it's a thing. Yeah, we need a data bank in Genshin. Someone needs to put that together. Fontaine might be a good spot for that. I would think Sumeru would be, but. Oh, this is the best way to get to this? No way. All right, cat box. I'm using the cat box way too much. It's become a problem at this point, but I love the cat box. Are you sure this is the right place, Kirara? I'm gonna let them finish. <laughs> the address is oh, that's so vague. To be fair, though, Kaya was sending us that letter in Sumeru in the Archon Quest, and it was also very vague. Like, just no one has an address here. Like, the addresses don't exist, I guess, in Tavat, which makes sense. It is, like, fantasy. So this is the delivery address. There's nothing here. Unless there's, like, a tent I'm not seeing. There is a fire on flower. <laughs> First, oh, there's a flower on fire. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> My brain is too jumbled for this. I'm making tea, but I don't think it's good. Like, I started making it before I started recording these videos. Now I gotta finish the video before I can go pick it up, because I didn't think to pick it up before. Anyways. I'm coming here to personally receive the package. I've had uh, customers do that in the past. Fair. Uh, we're still a little early. Uh, there was a specific the meantime, time. Why don't the rest of you go? I've been to schedule deliveries before. And remember, watch my. Why didn't we think of like hiding farther back before we got here? Because what if they're watching the area? Oh, two Kira Ross. <laughs> All right, it's a find a hiding place. I'm like, where does it specifically want me to go? Because like I can think of something off the top of my head, but oh, well, yeah, that's probably a better hiding spot. Not entirely though. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Cause, oh, I guess this is better to see here. Because I was like, there's more coverage over like well, this side. Here. But this spot is hidden, but with a clear view. Yeah, that has a clear view because it's higher up. That's probably better. I'm sure this recipient's up to no good. <laughs> pick up a package in a place like this? I mean, yeah, it is kind of like back alley, I middle agree. of the desert. <laughs> like you are hiding something but if you are coming this far out for a package. Well, let her tell us what to do. Tell us what to do. <laughs> you know, oh. I'm glad Charlotte enjoys it. But I, she might be faking it. She is a journalist. But and I say that as somebody, like I've said before, who was going to go into journalism. So I, <laughs> I can say that. Anyways, they really like as much as I was like the uh, Sino in his story quest seems very intense. Like it's a lot to take in. And the Archon quest Sino again very intense. But I feel like these limited event quest Sinos they just further and further keep going in on the puns and it's it's a lot. Of, it's like every other line is a pun. It does get a little old, but I think maybe that's what they're trying to send home. <laughs> uh, yeah, there he goes again. Uh, what? We get it, Sino. In her tails. We get it. We do get it. Yeah, yeah, we get it. <laughs> we get it. We just don't find it funny anymore. After waiting behind the rocks for a while, like when every every other line is a pun. Oh my God! Wait, are those the dudes? Because are these the guys from Sino's story quest? You from. Homo no, Express. no, they're different guys. Okay. That's right. You must be Mr. Dada Baba. Where's the package? So these are the dudes. Uh, yes, this is your package. 
Here you go. Isn't she gonna get? Do we have to confirm? Please confirm the contents of the package. I see. Are we gonna do this? Or they're just gonna take it? I they're... recommend that you open it and confirm the contents. Oh. In many places the past few days through all sorts of weather. The contents may have shifted. So I mean, that's smart because I I thought she was just gonna be like, can you confirm the contents of this package before giving it to them? Um, but I guess because then they wouldn't get the package. Like they could just run off with it now. But I guess because we have so many people in hiding, it's not as big of a deal because we can catch them. I want to see how Charlotte fights so bad, though. I do. Because I want to see what weapon she uses. Because <laughs> I think she's bow and arrow because of Honkai, but that's that's beyond me at this point. No need. You haven't opened it to see what's inside. You no, that's deal. illegal, but like, of course maybe you should? Be against our company policy. Yeah, no, it's illegal. If the contents <laughs> are valuable, I would still recommend checking them first. Yeah, see the compensation. Yeah. Compensate you now. She's like, I can look the other way. <laughs> need, didn't I? Why are you so persistent? Because it's her job. She loves her job. That's her whole thing. You no, know, boss. This little lady's out here all on Oh, the see, that's not, that's creepy now. We could use that to our advantage, you know. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, hey, what? You. No, absolutely not. The only one delivering out here. Absolutely not, these guys. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. This poor right. thing. I wouldn't bring a bunch of people with me <laughs> to deliver a package. Kira, don't keep talking. I'm no good at lying. Oh. And I can't keep my tails from moving everywhere. <laughs> she's getting a signal. No, she's not, Paimon. No, she's not. But wait. I... Oh, okay, okay, good. Good. It's not a, It's not the signal. It's not the signal. She's just freaking out. Uh, the, I nearly forgot. <laughs> to be my 100th delivery that is a lie a really special moment i think she's still lying if you could let me know what i delivered it would mean a lot to me oh now she's just coming up with stuff her tails are moving all over the place does she need us to step in or not no she doesn't paimon it's her okay for now moving and intertwining they keep pointing i guess this is why it wasn't just like move like fl flap your tails <sighs> because that would be bad maybe she's trying to say that she mixed up her directions no no These people aren't the intended oh my god this is literally oh my god see this is this is a, a communication issue at its finest <laughs> i've never seen it done this badly <laughs> but like it's fun it, it works it works Something's not right i can feel it and you seem real concerned about this package, Missy. Just say, because they, 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 he's like, you seem concerned. Just say, it might have gotten damaged in the delivery process, in transit. That's the word. It might have been damaged in transit. And I would like to know, make sure I didn't mess up. Like, put it on you, right? I just want to know, like, you got everything got here safely. Package is okay. It didn't get, like, bonked around in transit. Just making sure. Just making sure, guys. Just making sure. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, that's just part of my job <laughs> Kira you know, right. you're being and very you're obvious that you're going to oh them. god come on boss enough talk are they, are yeah. they gonna nobody will ever know anything happened way out here see that's uh, that freaks me out a little bit do you have a moment to leave a five-star review <laughs> not the five-star review sure. i'll leave a five oh god review after you're dead see that's suspicious yeah do the 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 tails in the back oh <laughs> Oh, we already ran. We're already out and about, Paimon. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, <laughs> and we got him cornered now. Boss, it's four against up. three, and we all have visions Freedom. of yeah. sorts. Who are we fighting with? Is it, it can, is it gonna be a trial? What would make the most sense is, is, is a Charlotte trial, or if we just got a trial team of like all these characters, but obviously we wouldn't play as Charlotte. Uh, wait, that's <laughs> Oh, he went full ultimate. Sino? Are they gonna run? You better better drop the package and you're running. Trial Kirara. Okay. This should be fun then. Okay, drop all uh, that and boom. Oh, that, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I love that. The jellyfish is still going. That was more of a wanderer showcase than anything else, I feel like. Dang. So you do go to Kirara trial, but. Yeah, I, I'm fine. Don't worry. I built my Kirara up enough that. It still made a difference, I think. We, we, we wouldn't have. <laughs> too late for that. Yeah, too late. And I don't want to hear any whining from you two either. Oh. Clear. See, this is Sino. Yes. Crystal clear. I guess it makes sense that he can go between like the puns and whatever this is. 
Can't you just let us <laughs> off this one time? Oh, God. That depends on how honest you are. Fair, yeah, no. I'll tell you everything. The elemental orbs in the What's background. What's <laughs> inside the package? Yeah. Cardbacks. There it is. Location TCG card bags that we collected from different nations. So they have all of them? Are they the kind with a treasure chest design on them? So what's so special about this yeah, design? Right. Can you finally tell us? How'd you know that? Yeah, yeah, we've been tracking this. Why are you stealing card backs? We're just a group of treasure hoarders. That's all. Treasure hoarders. Some hoarders were getting. Do they look like treasure hoarders? I don't. Small stuff. They wanted to. Oh, they wanted to do on. something big, and that was the treasure card bags. Something big, you know, not just in What's one nation, all across Tibet. Because so, they picked the treasure chest card backs, and they're treasure hoarders. So is it like a symbol for something? Weird. Oh, that's, that's weird. Bad. Did they do it purposely? Yeah, we were planning to steal prized treasures from different nations all at the same time. I guess, yeah. After pulling off a job like that, everyone would recognize us treasure hoarders as the most huh. powerful organization across the world. Yeah, that's a little awkward. Um, <laughs> that's a little embarrassing. But uh, seems like that's not gonna happen now. The treasure hoarders, the the so biggest organism, the Fatui exists. The Fatui well, exists. The problem was we didn't know how to communicate our Gosh. plan to all the other treasure hoarders. Treasure hoarders are but nothing. I, I mean, I guess that's why they wanted to make a point. Recently, somebody suddenly came up with the idea. Okay, so that's why. Our plans without being detected. A communicate our plans. That's why they did it because they picked the treasure chest card backs because it would be like treasure chest, treasure hoarders. Oh, they they did the thing. It was like a symbol of something. There, do we get the card back from this event? Because that'd be really funny. It's kind of boring though, I'm not gonna lie. Unless it's like shiny gold, that would be the only, uh, if it was gold, which it could be. So you were the ones who printed these card backs. Wait, they printed them? To then steal them. That's a bit weird. I mean, just sell them. Legitimately sell them to make money. Make them shiny, honestly. What, here's what you do. You're gonna make the card backs. Some of them are gonna be shiny, like maybe 5%, possibly less. And then you're gonna have the normal ones and it's gonna be a, it's gonna be like a gamble got to do it gotcha style right because then more people would keep buying them and honestly you could lie about them being shiny just have like maybe like one shiny copy to advertise is it ethical absolutely not <laughs> but like it's the treasure hoarders are they ethical not really yeah because every treasure hoarder knows what to do once they see a treasure chest they do first you bury it so no one else can take it huh and just add a little bit of pizzazz or dirt Hey, shut it. <laughs> You're giving away all our plans. <laughs> what plans? <laughs> oh my god. This ridiculous plan of yours more valuable than oh god. Your own life. Okay, Sino. Uh, no, 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 you know, I think on, he's being extra intense because he takes TCG really seriously. Some wet dirt or sand, then wipe it off after a while. Wait a second. Are they fake card backs? Like if it gets wet, will the design disappear? And it'll look like this. Or is it like a fancier design? Oh. So they were using it. They were using it as like a sign. And for those of you without sumter beads. Seriously? That's all it said? What a waste. There's only more. Hey, what do you mean waste? That message will mobilize the treasure hoard. To do what? Because right. also, here's the, the thing, right? The details are printed below that. Okay, yeah, there was more. But, because I was about to say, if there was no time or other details, because of it's a fantasy setting, there is no email. Somebody could get the message like a week late and then you got just different groups. It's like how, like, military battles, right? This is this is niche. Military battles, like, there's one in history, because I'm not a history person, but I do remember learning in, like, middle school that one of them, and there was, like, a battle that ended, like, a month after the actual war itself ended because they just couldn't get a, the message to them that, like, hey, we called it off. We're done. And no one knew for, like, a month. And there, like, a whole entire battle took place, like, after the war was over because they didn't, couldn't get the message out there. I just remember that from middle school because I thought it was funny because it was like, ha, you did all this and for what? But yeah, they do have the other details printed, but still, what if someone gets it late? Put time on these. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Hmm. It's just, like, such a bad idea. Speaking, it's definitely a creative method of communicating information. I feel like it's a bad idea, but also, but like... Why were you uh, trying to retrieve these... Who would think to do that, even? Did they mess up? Was there a typo? Some fellow hoarders got addicted to genius invocation. <laughs> All they needed to do was stick to the plan, but they couldn't help themselves and started playing the game. The, now this seems like an ad. <laughs> this seems like an ad. And showing them off. So they are they actually worth it now? 
Some of them ended up losing our card backs to other players. Oh, so that's why they were stealing them back. That your plans would be exposed. So you that's, uh, see, that's the issue. The card backs that had been scattered into the markets. That's the that's issue. The on the markets. We collected all our treasure chest card backs and we had them shipped back. So they recalled them. Those plans had already been discovered. Gosh. So we were preparing to print another set of card backs. They would indicate a different time this is to such a mess operation, this is distribute them this is a mess this is why this is a bad idea we raised funding for everyone to send us the bags <laughs> via Comini express that way we could guarantee the car so who used the money who used the money on tcg huh oh uh thanks for the compliment <laughs> oh my god so the senders would stay at their original location to ensure that the operation could continue moving forward this is so messy. Like, actually. Why the treasure hoarders came after the person who sold the card back in Monster. Oh, that makes sense. I don't even remember that part. Running into the treasure hoarders left and right, they wanted to be sure that anyone involved stayed quiet. This was such a bad idea. <laughs> Just because this is this is what happened. Make up for our mistakes. Please, Mahamatra Sino, show us mercy. <laughs> oh god i feel like this is enough punishment this is embarrassing this other dude's just still sitting on the ground the main guy just sitting there <laughs> contemplating oh that's messy that is so messy you follow sino back to caravan robot to do what i've taken care of the criminals for now tcg mayhaps i'll be escorting them back to sumeru city shortly okay sino thanks for all your help is that the end of this I was only fulfilling my duty. Is this video gonna end up being shorter than my like did well. character build, whatever the heck we did last video? Seems like a completely different person when he's working. <laughs> All right, goodbye for now. Bye, Sino. Oh wait, wait, wait! I still want to interview the champion of the Sumeru. Okay, so he won the regional one. So now we need to do like the final, final. Who's gonna win the final then? Mr. Sino, what were your thoughts? I heard it gets emotional, but I don't know for how. About the treasure hoarder incident. Cause like, where do we go from here? Hmm. This has been like uh, funny all Genius the whole time now. Location TCG is a and just a mess. Game. But to me, Aww. it's not just a game. It's an art form. That's kind of embarrassing, but it also really wholesome. You know what? Cringe culture is dead. Let him have it. And experience the joy <laughs> of dueling together. The joy of dueling. I hope everyone can have the chance to experience the fun of playing this game. Oh, that's kind of nice. That'll be a perfect ending for my news piece. That's nice. I assure you that I will personally bring uh, yeah, there he goes. to any criminals out there See? with delusions. See? That's why he was extra intense and angry, because <laughs> it's they use TCG no as the method. Or where you hide, <laughs> you will not escape the punishment. Okay, that's the switch up for his helmet. <laughs> Lightly. Okay, oh, Sino. Uh, I see. Okay. Let's stay calm, no need to get worked up. Yeah, no need to get worked up. Let me think. Charlotte, what are you thinking? Hmm. Not so genius thieves behind mysterious. Not so genius. Spot finally, um... Defeat it. What is? Got decked. Got decked. <laughs> you get it? Like cards and punching. <laughs> the way he says yes, that's so monotone. Oh my god. I'm gonna be get decked because it'll be past tense. If that's. I don't remember how to use title an article if it's present or past tense. I know that. I think I'm, is that is a lesson I've learned before. By these thieving treasure. But I don't know, remember if you're supposed to pass tense or present tense an article title. I don't think it matters that much. This is Genshin Impact. Okay, take care, Sino! We will. I, I, I skipped the line that um to play a game of TCG with him next time, because he kind of scares me to play TCG against. So <laughs> but the game thought I said it anyways. Still feels a little disappointing though. Uh Simon thought for sure those card backs would lead us to some valuable treasure. Eh. Don't say that. After we finish this cutscene, we'll probably do the game major international parts, so the minigames. <laughs> oh, I definitely have everything I need for my exclusive news piece. Oh, Charlotte. Paimo regrets that we didn't get to see the mysterious inventor. There's still time. We gotta. Don't we have a final round? Because he won the Sumeru tournament. It seems everyone can't stop. But isn't there like a final tournament? Like the winners from these rounds go to the international one right <laughs> or am i projecting my sports knowledge or i guess sport knowledge i know one sport and that's how it works all right all right actually that's not entirely how it works figure skating is an enigma anyways it's just fun to play cards and make new friends but play cards <laughs> how would everyone like to join me for Aww. a very special delivery is this the part that makes people emotional you mean it's related to genius and vacation tcg probably not Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it That's is. Right. You'll understand when we get there. 
Is it the final round? Invited Sino along too if he wasn't busy with work. Oh really? Or is it related to Fontaine? Before that you can't disclose customer information? Yeah, but this time the situation's different. Oh! This delivery wasn't assigned to me by the company. She's making a delivery to the people who made TCG, isn't she? Oh, that makes sense. The package had been sitting at the company for some time because we could never locate the recipient. Oh. And the didn't know where you went. <laughs> the neighbors. So the company eventually took ownership of the package? Don't they send yeah. it back? The Isn't that... The period passed just last month. Huh. But can't you just return it to the original? Yeah, that's period? what you're supposed to do. Well, it turns out the sender has passed away. Oh. What do you do in that situation? Because I think they would just send it back and it would yeah. just sit on the doorstep. <laughs> and I thought both the original sender and the intended recipient would be disappointed if this package is left undelivered. So I guess the original so sender sent it knowing they were going to pass. That makes sense, right? Eventually, I found out where the recipient went. Oh. I a little about his past. I bet the res original sender is one of the creators of TCG and the uh, recipient is the other creator. I bet that's the case. <laughs> You'll have to come with me and see. So I guess if it is a Grand Prix, because that's the thing, TCG players like you it's along. the King of Vacations Grand Prix, and a Grand Prix is people from multiple countries. I forget how, because like I said, figure skating, I forget how the figure skating Grand Prix work. Yeah, I forget, but it's it's oh, weird. Sounds like another news story brewing. I'll tag along as well. Because I thought there was going to be like a final, final round of everyone, and who is going to be like the here. final winner? Because we have Can four nations, so yeah. Of course, yeah. All right, then follow me to Vimara Village. Cause I was like, that's the only way that makes sense. Go to Vimara Village. Chatter of joyous dreams. That makes some more sense now. Oh, it's right by a teleport. Oh, that's amazing. That's so good. Amazing. I have. A, how have I never gotten this viewpoint? The village by the river. How have I never gotten that? I've come here to do the our Noir quest a couple times. I haven't finished it, but I've come here for it. Anyways, I did say I was gonna do the uh, TCG round, but I forgot. <laughs> which house they live I'll check where it is specifically after this because I didn't around. see it in Caravan or Bot. Any idea what the recipient looks like? We have to go like find the TCG area. His name is Garva Pidum, and that he's a scholar from Garva the Pidum. Okay. Got it. So what does he do? Is he the TCG guy? Oh. Oh, we're gonna ask that guy. Okay, I just want to check where the event stuff is because I know we have the games. So go to challenge and the mechanical paintings. Are they in Sumeru? Sit no i clicked off apparently okay great all right where's my zero hour invocation person oh it is in vimara village oh no it's in port ormos where is it is this port ormos no port ormos is over here okay let's just go let's just finish this up first because this is getting weird now we have to ask you something the student hi there do you know where garvapitam lives He's just a random student. How would he? Uh, I'm afraid I've never heard that name before. Does he go by a different uh, name? He's a scholar from the academia. Oh, that's why we asked the student. Oh, yes, there is a scholar around here, but... Can you just tell us where he is? Go by the name it's not the first mentioned. time someone's used a fake name yeah. in Sumeru. Are you sure you've got the right name? Uh, I think at least Sumeru. Actually, I'd like to ask him a few questions myself regarding huh. which of the six Darshans to join. Well, yeah, I guess he doesn't have a badge or anything. Sounds a hat. Let's go ask someone else. Oh, he doesn't know where he lives, but he knows he lives around here. That's weird. Also, how do you know he's a scholar? Like, why is he just wearing the robes when he's no longer like in the academia? Do people do that? Oh, oh, there's fruit. Oh, we have to go across. I got this. Yeah, <laughs> this is satisfying. Oh, I can go higher. What do you know? Learning how to use Skarmosh. Okay, anyways, hi. Do you know hi this guy? A scholar named Garvapitam. Just say we're looking for a scholar, like an older scholar. Garvapitam? I've never heard of him. Are you okay? Oh, wait. Uh, a newcomer. A newcomer that arrived a few days ago. So oh, we just got here? Just moved here? Sure, tell us where the newcomer is. Yes, that's right. Where's the new guy? He looked pretty anxious, though. Almost like he's struggling to complete a thesis. Oh, so he's not old. I've seen him speaking with the village head. Probably looking for a place to stay. Huh. Vimara Village is the perfect place to take Aww. a vacation and relax, which is why I chose to come back here. Oh, so where are you from? Thank you. We'll go talk to the head of the village. We're getting a lot of like expository dialogue. Is that Don't the word? That life is ever treating you hard. You can always come and live here for a while. <laughs> what, what is that supposed to mean? 
Like, what is that going to come back to? What? Why are we getting these details? What are we doing here? Okay, the village head. Why didn't we start with the village head? Just a thought. We know this guy. We helped him find some kids once. Why don't we start with that? Hello. Are you the head of the village? There's something we'd like to ask you about. He yes, probably knows. That's me. Go ahead. We know him. Why are we? <laughs> we know him. We've talked to him before. I like how Paimon's just asked every Garba single time. Ah, okay, so no one knows his name, but he is here. You know him? Yes, I do. We're getting it's, it's delaying hard. <laughs> to rent a place to stay. He said he needed to unwind. unwind. So he did come here for a break. Hardly anyone's ever seen him come out since he huh. moved in. He doesn't seem to be very outgoing. I mean, I'm not, but if I was in a place I this pretty, I would <laughs> I would touch grass. Renting. Uh, but I'd say he's just maybe he's just sleeping. But even so, like get a hammock. Are you friends of his? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you can say that. Kira is like, oh yeah, sure. The tales are moving again. Yes. Is that what happens whenever she tells a lie? Hi, Ma. Hi, Ma. Space. I see. I was thinking that it'd be good for some friends to check up on. We're not his friends. He's but I'm gonna die. We're not his friends. Look for the house in the corner. You should house be able in to the find corner. The big one? Hey, I mean, that's a big house for Don't this area. I, I wouldn't leave either. <laughs> be happy. Oh, that's nice. It's such a contrast from like Sumeru City. How do we get up there? Is it the ladder? I guess it's the ladder. That's weird. Why'd it go all the way around? Why isn't there two ladders? Oh, we can go this way. All right, we got hat guy. We're good to go. Hat guy. I should have used the cat box. Oh my God, I was gonna say, is that him? The kid? Oh, it's like letting me take the birds. I think you can just pick up these birds though. Oh, got one. <laughs> okay, house in the corner. Oh no, that's not that guy. That's Iathom. Nope. So this is the house in the corner. Okay, this is a small house. This one actually is small. It's very close to the big one though. It's a little quaint. A little quaint house. What's he doing here though? Actually, a house like high up, tiny, cozy, um, would actually be kind of nice. Anybody home? Like I for a vacation? Maybe he's researching though. Oh, so, okay, this is the guy. Yes, that's me. Why do you sound familiar? I help you. Who has he voiced before? What NPC has he voiced before this? I swear, I know that voice, but I don't remember who it was. Anyways. Hello, Anyways, a he has a fun hat. I'm afraid the package is quite late. Nah, I've had a package delivered like three, four months late before, so actually multiple packages. From a Mr. Gulab. <laughs> this is why I don't order stuff online anymore. Gulab? Gulab? It's yeah. How is that possible? He did die. Well, that's yes. what she said, but it seems your friend submitted the package to our company before he passed. Yeah. Friend. Oh. <laughs> Some friend I am. What was his illness? Wait. There was nothing I could do about his illness. Was he a village keeper or I was it side during the last moments of his life? The other thing Kale had that I can't remember all, the name of. New and Gulab are the creators of Genius Invocation. There it is. <laughs> I'm sure Gulab Why is no one like, know how popular saying, the has No one is like reacting to that. Same. There we go. He's one of the creators of Genius Invocation TCG. Yes, and the other one passed away, unfortunately. <sighs> Why? Why does it oh. seem that misfortune always befalls geniuses like him? Oh, oh, it is getting emotional. It would probably help you feel. Charlotte, better. stop! This is not ethical journalism, Charlotte. <sighs> stop it. <sighs> He's having You're a right. moment. Maybe I should tell you. And you better be asking this question as a person, not as a journalist. Ethics, really Charlotte. Ethics. Listening? You can talk to us. Yeah, you'll feel better. All right then. It's not much of a story, really. Oh, it's gonna make me cry. I was like, how does this get emotional? It's been haha -ha funny every, every every bit up until now. I knew Gulab there it ever is. since we were kids. We were classmates. Oh, he's like walking around. Together. Oh. Other than the bandages on his arms. Elazar. He had Elazar. So is he just too far gone? Always By the time we were able to fix Celestia time. check. There it is. <laughs> Later, we both entered the academia. Oh. He became a Ritawahis Dastur. What's a Dastur? Ritawahis is a... That's a pretty high position. That's the one... <laughs> yes, he really that, that Layla's in. Oh, he probably would have been the one nominated to do the Interdarshan Championship in place of... Because that was my whole thing with the Interdarshan Championship. I was like, why is Layla the... Why is Layla like your top pick? How did this happen? She's like the only student you guys pick. What is going on here? Like everyone else is like a graduate, a professor. How did Layla get involved? We're not talking about Hack Guy. He, that was happenstance. Hack Guy is un involved. Um, 
So, like, why in Ritalist was Layla picked? But I guess it's maybe other people in that Darshan. Just, like, tragic fate. Tragic stories, like, with uh, Gulab. But before long, the Elazar Or was it complications caused by Elazar that even when the Elazar was cleared up? After that, he became bedridden. Yeah. He received treatment in the Aww. hospital. Oh, well, that's why he couldn't do the inter Darshan thing, because he never graduated, probably. I would go see him in the hospital every day. Oh. Even though oh yeah, this is gonna get me. No need for me to visit so often. But no, it's you, the friends. You must have been worried that he was taking time from your own research. Charlotte, we get it, Charlotte. I know, but I couldn't bear to just leave him like that. Oh. He was clearly the smarter of the two of us. This is immediately like making me cry. <laughs> what do you mean? This whole thing has been ha ha funny, and then you just have a switch up like this? Took some cards and started painting them. Oh. Over time, those cards became the basis for genius invocation TCG. Oh, I hate it here. A game that was born from friendship, which is nice because everyone's like, it's nice to make friends playing the card game. It's not only a game. Oh. When we were designing it. I deliberately that make, this makes sense. Theoretical knowledge because you can like burn characters and there's like dendro reactions and stuff. So we could study the subject together. Oh. But in the end, that's why he came here to relax because for the past month, because it's been a month since his friend passed. He's just been like dealing with his thesis and his friend, and he's like, I need a break. I'm going insane. I get that. After he passed away, Aww. I tried to play the game with someone else, but every time oh. I looked up, all I could see was his silhouette. Oh, that's he him! Was sitting there at the table. I know it was all in my head, though. They both have bandages on their arms, though. So, like, what's up with that? Huh. Is that just part of the like, outfit? I understand. Paimon wouldn't ever be able Anyways. to get used to being away from the Traveler. There it is again! Paimon would probably find herself talking to the wind, as if the Traveler could hear. This is like the third flagship event in a row, also in our conquest bits that we've gotten in Sumeria, where Paimon has directly mentioned that she wouldn't know what to do if we got separated. Why does that keep coming back? I've said it before, I want, I want us to be separated in Fontaine, even just for a comedic effect, I want it to happen for the story um because also i feel like it'd be dramatic and i want drama in fontaine all right i want the most drama in fontaine and probably like shinazaya because it's like the end of the story and that's where you need the drama but what's going on guys what's going on what's going on with that this this is like not the first time this has been mentioned um what is foreshadowing anyways like they just put it in every event because it's like if you missed the last one you're gonna know now embrace the fun of genius invocation but no you lost one of you lost your friend who was also a creator that's tough even if you weren't the creators and honest. you still lost a friend. You You're grieving. What meaning does the game have anymore? And people grieve differently. Just let him grieve. Oh god. Perhaps you should see what your friend sent you in the package. Oh, did they does she know what's in it? Because they took ownership of the package, so does she know? Uh, right. This would hurt though. I'd be like bawling a baby if the that the same thing happened to me. But it's like yeah, I've been in what's similar this? scenarios, but not this heavy. A letter. A letter. Oh, it's a cutscene. I was gonna. I was ready to read. My dear friend. Oh, they voiced it. Oh. I'm leaving you a letter like this. Oh, and he's in the hospital. He's just like his dying oh. wish. Hey, Gulab, I'm here. How are you feeling today? Oh. I gotta tell you, I had an idea for another card last night. Cute. Huh? What's that you're writing? See, I thought the game was like <laughs> at least ten years old or something, and just got like rediscovered. But no, it is like brand new. That's why it's okay. spreading all over to bot. Also, I love this animation style and the fact that it's like, usually it's stills, but this day. is fully no. animated. This is so good. On your work at the I can't read the text. I will say that because hey, it's like white on I'll white. visiting until you fully recovered. Oh. Besides, I can't stand most of the folks at the academia anyway. Mood. Hey, it's your turn. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> so it was, okay, he has the bandages in this scene. Are you okay? On his hands. Oh. You must understand. So. Hey, don't hypothetically. Like you just. Is this just happening like a month us. after? Or did he just? Was it just too far gone that he couldn't recover? I don't know. How would that because logistically work? You won't come to terms with the fact that I don't oh. have long left. 
Because he sent the package a month ago and died like very invented. soon after this that. Pretty popular here in the hospital. Oh. Really? That's great news. Yeah. I've even made a device to help people Oh, find he made that while he was nearby. sick, like on his deathbed. Here. This one's for That's you. That's insane. This way, you'll be able to keep playing even after Aww. I just stop. You're gonna get better, you hear me? Oh. I don't need this thing. I don't want it. Stop, I'm crying now, I'm crying now. I imagine the casket of tones I gave you is probably oh my gosh. In the corner somewhere. Yeah, because he can't play so, it. This is my last gift to you. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a I special card. No! Do you remember? No! You were the only one oh. willing to be friends with the kid with Elazar. That got me. That's the card. Now, it's my turn to oh, no. make some new friends. <laughs> oh, I'm bawling. I'm this crying. Time, I'll always be by your side, my friend. I hate it here. That was beautiful. That was so beautiful. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's crying. I'm crying. Give me a second, man. Oh, my God. That, yeah. This whole event was haha -ha funny. I'm the best TCG player. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. And now you just you hit me with this. I am bawling. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna take another Advil. For the last Genshin video, I had a headache for like half of it, so I was like, I'm taking an Advil and then I'm finishing the TCG event. That's what's gonna happen. And I, so I took my Advil in between, and now I'm gonna need another one because this is gonna give me another headache. I'm crying. Oh my god. I didn't know. I didn't know when people said it gets emotional. This is what they meant by it. This hurts. The one thing that gets me, though, is was he just like, because it seemed like when the Arkham Quest ended, which it has been, they say like a month, but it's definitely been a couple of months, like out of game. It's been a while. It's almost been a year since Sumer started. And when did they release? What patch was the, did we fix things? I don't remember. Oh, my, I'm like, so there's tears in my eyeballs. So it's, it's definitely, I would say at least been two, three months since we fixed Sumeru, because there has been other major events that have like, it's, we're well into the fixation of Sumeru. So was he just like too far gone that he did just end up passing or did he die did he pass away like right before fixed things i don't know how this is working out and also this is like really close to the screen oh oh he's crying he has the mushroom tears i call them mushroom tears because they look like those crystals that they shape to be mushrooms <laughs> so bad. i'm still crying by the way there's still tears in my eyes the game allows me oh, she's to quoting Sino. And experience the joy of dueling together. Oh, I'm crying. I'm so crying. <laughs> oh, no. But also, oh, yes. Oh, I'm, oh, my God. My, the tears are not stopping. <laughs> all for your kind words. Oh, good friends never truly leave. Yeah. I'm crying. I'm, oh, that got me worse. What the heck is this quest? They stay with us in another four. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't do this any sooner. I'm just, I'm saying that now because timing wise, oh, if I did this like a week, I did, if I, if I did this when it first dropped, I would, I'd be so much worse. <laughs> I'd be so much worse right now. Oh my God. I love this quest, but I hate it at the same time. I'm crying. Oh You're my right. God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I would have had to walk away. I would have had to walk away. If this was like a couple weeks ago, I would have had to walk away. I've always kept your cast oh. with me. Oh. Oh. It was so He's saying this while like staring at the statue of the seven. Like that's ah. Uh. Waste it is to never have used it. Oh. If he were here now. I know he'd say. What would he say? Oh. Why are we lagging? Friends. How Friends. About a game of genius invocation TCG. Oh, are we playing with him? I want to let it. Can I let him win? I'm. I'm literally gonna let him win. I'd be happy to. If we actually do end up playing against him, I'm gonna let him win. I will let Garva Pitum win. You play an enjoyable match of Genius Invocation with Garva Pitum. Okay, we don't actually have to play against him. I would let him win. 200%. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. That's why he didn't leave his house. He was depressed. That's why he didn't leave his house. Yeah. For sure, Charlotte. I think Kirara deserves an employee of the month reward for that. I had a feeling that it must somehow be delivered. Yeah. I couldn't just let it be abandoned. Oh, I'm so glad that that got delivered. That. Oh my God, I'm still have tears in my eyes. That was your yokai intuition kicking in. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, oh. I'm not sure. I guess I just didn't want to let the sender sentiment go to waste like that. Yeah, that's nice. Anyway, 
I think this is where we'll say goodbye. Oh, we'll see you in Fontaine, Charlotte. Oh, uh, are you going back to Fontaine? This would be a great segue to Fontaine. Like, can we go with you? Still get such a quality story after the tournament had finished. Oh, took me a few days just to draft the articles alone. Oh, by the way, I still haven't had the chance to interview This is really cute. Oh, are we gonna get an interview? Oh, her little camera. You'd like to say. We made a lot of new friends, and we learned a lot about Genius of Vacation TCG. I want to go at new friends. Yeah, oh, is she recording we this? this Wait a second, does she have a video? I've said this before, it would be really interesting if we did get a video camera. I don't know how the mechanically that would work in game. I think it would just be like a story element, because like the camera, the other cameras make sense, but like a video camera, I think it would just be like a story element or like a mini game element for different events. Like it wouldn't actually be something we use because I mean, I don't, I do people record. I mean, I record Genshin video, but I wouldn't use the in-game camera for that. I'm using OBS. Oh my God. <laughs> Still crying a little bit. Um, I've said before that I feel like we might get a video camera in Genshin and this actually makes sense because it looks like she's using a video camera and it would make sense to be released in Fontaine because Fontaine is supposed to be water and technological advancement. So that makes sense. I understand. I'll be sure to work your comments into my exclusive news piece. And she hasn't been like writing down her notes, Just be sure like interview notes. Copy of the Steam Bird when you oh. visit Fontaine. I will, Charlotte. I to totally, totally will. And I should get ready to head back to Inazuma. I have to report everything to my boss. Oh uh, yeah, she's gonna have to write up some reports of the card back situation, probably. Oh, and also she probably wants to tell her boss the story about the TCG guy, because. That would, that's a nice, it's a really nice story. Take care, everyone. Charlotte will see you. What is it, June? I'm guessing Charlotte will see you in two to three business months, I would assume. Take care, everyone. Do. I'm sure we'll all see each yep, other cryovision. I see it very clearly now. Cryovision. I'm excited for that. Genius invocation TCG if we have the oh, totally. Yeah. That's, that was so cute. That was amazing. Round four was amazing. I see how it gets emotional. I was not expecting that at all. That was really nice. Also, I just, I, we need to finish this because I just got an email that I need to do something by midnight. <laughs> I did not pay attention to that. Oh God, I lost track of time. That's really nice though. So we have to do, even though I've been recording for an hour, we do have to do our little games now. So let's start with our Ever Motion Mechanical Paintings. Okay, there you yeah, go. They are in a port almost. So let me teleport. Oh my God, that, I'm still crying. I'm probably going to cry when I go to edit this. I want to do, actually... It is not even 7.30. I have time to do uh, Spiral Abyss after this, and I kind of want to do Spiral Abyss because I need to get my mind off of <laughs> what just happened with that quest. It was so... That was beautiful, though, like, everything in it. It was just... It was very nice. I think that was probably one of the best event limited quests. And this is why I feel like we should have replayable quest line, event quest line replayable bits in some way, shape, or form in Genshin. It was just implemented into Star Rail, so I feel like we need it in Genshin as well. Because that is one that, like, if I had to make a list of, like, event quests that I think everyone should replay if it was possible this would definitely be on there i don't know the other ones off the top of my head but this one would for sure be on there like that winter one with the eula and amber would probably be on there oh the uh unreconciled stars is nice i never played it myself because it was before i started playing genshin because i started genshin pretty late but i have watched the cutscenes like multiple times because you can easily look up the cutscenes on youtube but I've looked it up multiple times and one, I want to play it. And two, I think it's just a really good one. It's a fun one because it's like so early on. And then there's just event quests that were early game for me. Like there were, it was like late game, mid game, end game for everybody else. But because I started late, they were later or there were earlier quests for me. And I just want to be able to finish them. Like I never finished. Um, there was like a Beto quest I never finished. There was that one with child and child and who, oh my God, wait, who was that? Shinyan, Child and Shinyan, um, that I never got to do. There was just like a couple that I just never finished. And I would love to, because it was early game. I just did not have built characters to be able to finish them. So it's like the sort of thing that I, like, I wish that those were rerun so I could do them just because I never got the chance to before. Oh, will the small gear work? Oh no. I like had this down pat and now this isn't going to work. Oh God, gear column three. Huh, is the medium gear? Okay, medium gear isn't even big enough. Okay, hold on. Just reset that because I'm going to need to do something here. The problem is they all can move. That's not going to work. I hate that we have three swappable surfaces. This is not hitting for me. Okay, that worked. Four. No. What if we go medium? Oh, nice. I figured it out. Sick. I was like, that gear is not going to, the big one's not going to fit there, but it did. Pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, let's do number two. Oh, I hit F like instead of D and I was like, whoa, wait, what? I just went back to number one. I don't want to do that because I already did that one. I would like to do number two. Okay. Okay. 
We're doing this again. Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, that can't be moved. Um, I don't know what to do with this. That's not gonna work there. Surface three should go here, I think. Because there's a gear there. Surface five, or this, whatever this one is. Okay, we're getting somewhere. That's not gonna work. Medium gear might. I need another medium gear. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. What about gear column one with a large? Are you joking? Okay, there we go. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> what is that? Nice. Oh, chicken. Is that chicken? Well, I guess we're about to find. I was like, where is it going to be in Sumeru? We have so many pretty places in Sumeru. And then it was chicken. What do you mean? It's, I guess that is a card. I guess they all are cards. Okay, so painting one was Sumeru City. Painting two was Tandoori Roast Chicken. Oh, that sounds good. I already had dinner, though. Oh, dear. Might have to reconsider a second dinner. <laughs> Might be one of those days where we do a second dinner. Okay, now I, need, I think I need to do the other event. So the TCG quest. Zero hour invocation. Does want me to navigate there, but I think it's like right here. And I don't see anyone here we can chat with, unfortunately. But we did miss like the entire event that took place. Like we missed the entire TCG tournament. Like they didn't even plan someone for Sino to compete against. Sino just won. Which honestly makes sense that they would do that. Okay, Dunia, hi. Give me zero hour invocation. Revived Sir... Serval? <laughs> Serval, this isn't your game. Who are we fighting? Revived Serval accepted your challenge. Who was Serval? Oh! There's so many players chatted <laughs> around. It's okay. Uh, Revived Serval. Is that... Did they spell it the same? How do you spell Serval? You think I would know this? You think I would know how to spell Serval? Honkai Serval. They did spell it. I, I, they, I know exactly what you did. <laughs> Let's play Genius Invocation. All right, let me set up bottom corner. So our special rules, it looks like the ones are... It looks like these special rules are the same as the ones we had in Inazuma. So I'm also just realizing this is the team I ran last round. So I did do like the recommended team, I think. <laughs> uh, start of each act. First action phase, both players get two charges of energy. And then each round, the cost of the first action card will be decreased by two. So Kale is running Kale, Sino, and Kokomi base. Uh, and I feel like this mage is going to be would be helpful just because we have the hydro. But honestly, actually, I think I'm going to go uh, Nahida. I'm going to go Hutal and I'm going to go Cryosis and mage. She has full health, which is good because I was that was my thing. Enjo, the Enjo card was not full health. So we'll go Cryosis and mage because then we kind of have a direct hit to everyone. It seems we're on serious showdown difficulty. And we're going to go to challenge. I see something for the Hydro because we got to take out the healer. She's going to go. Oh, I should have done this. Okay, she's going to go Kali first. I'll keep all of these probably. What are you? Create one almost die the same type as your next off field character. I'm actually going to switch that card. I feel like I don't need that. I could have sw probably switched the Shunhill card too, but I think that's a character switch. So maybe we'll use it. Maybe we won't. All right. So she's going to go Kali first. They always do. I'm going to go Hutal first then. Send, send <laughs> the voice line this is how we're finishing it off i have pyro on field so we roll everything that's not pyro or omni and i got not a single omni die what the heck is up with that okay now i guess this is good now oh we're in it yeah she went kali first i guess sino has a passive anyways so we are on hutal what is the best do we want to feed like not feed to the the dice but like feed hutal minus three damage that might actually be helpful I don't know how much energy this usually takes. I wish I could see that. Let's do the food. Give it to Hotel. Um, I should have done that. I, oh, wait, it's, it's minus two. This was also free, though, so they were, they were both two. Let's go give this to Hotel as well, then. Equip her with the artifact set, and then we can start actually playing, because we have quite a bit to do here. Do we want to take damage? Philosophical damage. This isn't going to do anything. Character gains Paramita Papilio. Oh... Oh, I can do this one for free. Well, let's go. Secret Spear of Wang Sheng. Uh, okay, not bad. What is it? One almost this is the same. Uh, the, I, I, I got rid of the Rana card, didn't I? Oh, and she switched to Sino. I'm gonna do my ult. I'm not taking any damage from it. Nice. Or I didn't heal from it because. Yeah. What is Judgment gonna do? Oh, minus one. That's nothing. I am, I am electrocuted now, but I have no dice. Quite literally. I wonder if I play Crane Returned if it'll let me switch on the next turn i'm gonna give it a shot why not play card and then i actually because i'm going to just end turn so i get to go first <laughs> doing pretty well i think i feel like kale is actually pretty good at this she's learned from the best sino so i feel like we're still doing pretty okay and i have two of the same card what why did i pick the assistant mage so we're still on hoot house so i'm gonna go pyro omni and pyro so we'll re-roll these four i got Two more pirate. Dang, these rolls are kind of stacked. So uh, select any elemental dice to re-roll. I mean, it's free. 
Let's see what I can get out of this. Let's let's game this. Any two elemental die to reroll. We want Omni or Pyro. I mean, that's pretty good if you ask me. <laughs> Dang, all right. So I don't have any energy, so I can't do the, her ult, but we can have a little bit of fun here, it looks like. That ult would be perfect, but I don't have the, I don't have the energy for it. Let's hit. Hoodon's definitely not a good damage dealer in this game, but I mean, if you do enough. Oh, I because I played the Shenhe car. Oh, no. Oh, that's a little bit tragic, ain't it? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play this. I'm going to use a pyro die. Oh, I need to pay one cryo for that. Ew. Well, let's play that because it is still free. Not bad because we got the melt combo. We have a passive now, too. And you just switched cards to call it. Dang. Okay. I don't. I don't have the elemental die I need. Okay, we're feeding. I need three cryo, so we're gonna feed this other system mage card because I already applied the buff to her. Elemental tuning on that. So I should now be able to use my ult and Kale, which will bring her down minus five. Nice. Trump card kitty. It's not. It's only gonna do like minus five, I think. Minus zero. It did nothing. Oh, sick. I don't think I can do anything except if I wanted to heal at this point. Because I don't have enough energy. If I had, if I fed this one card, I would could have one cryo die and do this normal attack. But the problem then is I don't have the energy because I need two energy. I only have one. So that's not really going to do anything. So we're going to end. Still doing pretty good. That Coco me is full health, but otherwise I'm doing pretty well. They switched to Sino and they ended the round. They could take me out. Do they not have any dice? Oh, Sino's dead. <laughs> Why'd they switch to Sino? <laughs> that you knew that was, that you had to have knew that was going to happen. Which card should I play here? Girl. Dang. All right. Um, is it just that easy? <laughs> I feel bad with my dice went crazy there. I feel bad like doing this to Kale of all people. But I mean, if it fits, it ships. Oh my God, my dice? Are you good? I got way too lucky on my rolls for a while. That makes sense that we wouldn't get that lucky now. If I can get a minus three in here, what do we got going on here? Convert the elemental dice spent to Omni element or I have which is Scorching Hat, which isn't going to be helpful. So we'll just play this card, I guess. I have 10 dice now. Oh, dang. I don't have the energy to get that one. Oh, darn. That sucks a little bit. What do we want to do here? I think it might be better to go for the normal attack instead of the elemental skill, because this is going to take three cryo dice, whereas this one will just take one and then like two other random ones. I think we'll just get more uh, attacks in with that. Leaven? Unused element. Something about unused elemental dice. Raven bow deals plus one damage. That could be dicey if she does like trump card kitty, especially. Oh, you just switched to Kokomi. And I'm on cryo. Ooh, yeah, no, I the ult would do me do really well here. I think what I'm gonna do then is heal my sis and mage, cause it, just in case Kokomi does something crazy, and then we'll do a minus three misty summons. And I actually probably could do her normal attack still, cause I have I only I have two geo and one omni, so I probably could still do it. I don't think she's gonna do too much damage. Minus three. Ooh, and the other one's healed. Dang. I'm gonna use that just cause it's my last resort, and. I'm gonna end my turn next round. So, Kale, what are you? What are you cooking, Kale? What are you cooking? Oh, Kokomi's frozen because she applied the jellyfish. Okay, Kale should be done about now. Yep, there we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh God, I'm laughing. I shouldn't be laughing. Okay, oh, that's the jellyfish. All right, let's go Hutao because I have the artifact set. Dang, that's more Kale. So we're on Pyro again. So we'll go Pyro die. I'm gonna apply that scorching hat. Yeah, this sucks. We roll everything but the one Omni die. My dice are going crazy. This sucks. This is the worst. I didn't even get Dendro. It's not like I can even switch to Nahida. Okay, which is Scorching Hat immediately. Confirm. So we have that buff. When your character uses a skill or equips a talent, if you do not have elemental dice, if you have, do not have more elemental dice than cards in your hand, spend one less elemental dice. I have way too many elemental dice. I'm going to save that. What does the food do? Character's next normal attack costs one less unaligned element. Actually, I have a lot of unaligned elements, so... I need a pyro dice. That's not going to work. Um, I guess we do yo because I would like to save because if I save, I can maybe do with the Omni dice her her ultimate. Let's just go normal. Oh, I'm scared. Kokomi hits like Kokomi hit minus three damage. Oh, God. And they switch to Kale. Interesting. That's really interesting, actually. Oh, are you kidding? I need one plus one on that. What does what does Scorching Hat do? One less pyro die. Hmm. Hmm. This sucks. Hmm. We're just going to do that. I really don't have too many options. I can do a normal, another normal attack on the next turn. As long as she doesn't take out. Yeah, we can take out uh, Kale in this one hit. As long as she doesn't switch to Kokomi, I can take out Kale. Uh, so nice. That, that's the end of my turn. Uh, wh what did Master, <laughs> Master. So she learned from Sino and Tignari. I don't have any. She's going to take. Yeah, 
because it's how you do it on Pyra. That was really bad. So I'm still winning. I'm still winning. So this is okay. I don't have any dice. I just want to see if either of these. So we'll do Northern Smoked Chicken like next time, probably, because it's not going to help me during this round. This is getting dicey. No pun intended. Not bad. Now we're like neck and neck. Hmm. I did get a good artifact set that I probably will equip beginning a round for Nahida. So we need Dendro. Dendro, baby. I got way too lucky in my early dice rolls, and now we're getting nothing. Nothing. We have we have a, a decent amount of usable dice here. Okay, so we'll miss Dendro die. So let's equip that really quickly. Use that pyro die. Heal the most injured character on standby for two HP. I'm going to play that Wangshu in card just because I need the passive healing. During this round, target cost normal one less. Let's play that because it's free. And what does the most damage? Sanctuary does the most damage, it looks like. Shrine of Maya. Let's do it. I need to be smart here. I need to be smart. If I, I could take her out on the next hit, if I get really lucky, which I have eight health, so I should be okay. I don't know how much this does. I don't know how much this does. Minus two. She's at four. Oh, no, she got another heal. That's not going to do me good. Okay. Oh, this is so... Oh, oh go me! We're going to have to do all schemes to know. Oh, uh, well, at the end of this round, I do get a heal. So as long as she doesn't take me out for six, I should be safe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hate that. I'm going to lose. End the round. End the round, Kali. End it right now. End it. 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 No, 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 no. <gasps> end the round. End the round. End the round. End it. End it. End it. End it. End it. End it. End no. <laughs> okay. The round has ended. I get a heal, I think. Please work. Please work. Where's my heal? Oh my God. I'm so scared. I need, I gotta, oh, there's a lot of dendro dice here. Oh, this is, this might be winnable. This might be winnable. Okay. Okay. Where's my heal? Heal the most injured character on standby for two HP. Oh, it's for standby characters. Okay. What do I have here that I can rock with? None of these. She's going to take me out. No. <laughs> I mean, I get a free use. I'm just going to use this card and see what it can give me. I messed up somewhere along the way that, oh, the Surasana, the Sanctuary would take her out. <gasps> no, we have to do it again. Oh, I hate it here. I hate it here so much. If, if she doesn't hit me, which she's going to hit me, I'm at one health. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. I should not have won that. I should not have won that. I'm serious. No, I shouldn't have won. I shouldn't have won. I'm serious. I should not have won that round, but I did. <laughs> oh, that was really good. That was really good. I'm sorry, Kale, but it was really close. I've never it was been in a situation like that before. me either, Kale. That was very close. You did a great job. CPU Kale, you did a great job. Oh, that was good. That's what I'm talking about. TCG is actually fun when it's like difficult. I think I was just not playing it the right way. I was doing it on baby mode and TCG is not fun on baby mode. Nice. Serval. <laughs> That was good. That was good. All right, now we can finish buying out the shop, which I think we just have like Mora and stuff. Exchange and exchange. The shop has been bought out. I'm satisfied. And we finished the entire event, which I really enjoyed, actually. It was really fun. It was a really fun event. Can we do any pulls? We probably should be able to. Ooh, y'all know what time it is. I'm, not, I'm just going to pull right here. Nico. No, it's blue. It's a bow. Did that give me enough for another free bowl? No, it did not. And I have nothing left to my name. That was so fun. I actually really enjoyed that. All right, standing right here. Oh, I wanted to stand on the table. Yeah, perfect. This is how we'll end. I'll put Kira on the table. Yeah, cat, perfect. Friends and gamers, that is it for the TCG event. Duel the Summoner Summit. I really enjoyed it. I loved the story at the end. I actually really enjoyed the gameplay with the zero hour invocation. It was really fun. And we got a new bow to boot. I do hope Charlotte is a bow user. That is like my big thing because I want to be able to. I, I feel like the, the bow here would be good on her because it was like how Kave, we got the event sword, the Claymore, a couple of updates before we got him. So like, I'm just saying this was very fun, though. I do hope that at some point they do an, a rerun of this event in a way where we get to see who is the winner out of, not these four, um, everyone but Kaya. <laughs> Timmy, Hutao, Sino, and Kokomi. I would like to see the winner out of those four. Like, that'd be really fun. I think it'd be fun, but we'll see. That is it for this video, though. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below, as well as subscribe for more, and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. As always, I hope everyone had or is having a super lovely day, wherever you are in the world. 
I'm gonna go play some Abyss and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>